Because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee Wait, for this right. one. Ready. Go. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Setting up the left hook, but out of range. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. The one-two punch is true. This is a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. This is crazy. Oh, big elbow. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, how clean.
clean is that jab by Lee. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lane. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Three minutes. Oh! Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Put your hands up higher, come on. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, he continues to stay big. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, solid kick right there. Nice slip to avoid the left. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. It's pretty fast, Jack. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, oh nice body shot. Exchange in the pocket here. Let's go. Push. One minute. Time to go. Less than a minute to go in the round. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Under 20 seconds now to go. 15 seconds. Let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yes. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or run. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Good job. Oh! oh, he's hurt. Big right hand there. Lee gets caught by 
by the straight punch. Oh, good block there. His torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Out of range with that one. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Lee. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to To my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit tall. Please, nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left. Get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. A beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because... He has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Oh, that's a oh. oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, with authority, the body. They got checked. 20 seconds to go round two. Lands a nice jab there. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. Oh, stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready. Ready. Good. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. There's a left hand. Big right hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch it. Oh, that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, oh, nice kick. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient, and in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. He's in a lot of trouble. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. stoppage win for him here tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day that was